Hello music producers and in this video I'm going to show you how I went from this to this. Alright, so as you can see first of all we have this clock tick sample right here. Alright, that's pretty dry. And then for the beat I actually went to add some effects on it. I added a bit of compression, a bit of um, EQing and the reverb just to make it sound more fitting to the beat. Alright, then next to that we have this drum. And actually there are pretty good number of things that are going on right here in the drums. As you can see we have all this going on. First of all we have the kick. Then followed by a clap. Then we have a snare followed by the clap. Then a hi hat. All right. Then at this point, we actually have two open hi hats, as you can see right here. One is pan forty percent to the left. The second one is pan forty percent to the right. And these are actually two different um, open hat samples. All right, the next day we have these two perk sounds, perk one and perk two. One is pan 100% to the left, the other one is pan 100% to the right. And I did this just to create some kind of stereo effect on the drums, all right? And these were also two different perk samples. All right. Then lastly, we have the 808 to sum everything up. All right. So there's actually a whole lot going on in the background of this whole drum. As you can see, we have a drum boss right here. Some side chaining in the, between the kick and the 808. Some um, 808 slides going on and I actually have detailed videos on each of these topics down in the description below There's a video on where I talked about how to create boss channels in FL studio There's a video on where I talk how to create 808 slides and also I also covered side chaining also in a detailed video and that link is in the description below So as you can see if you aren't subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell So that you get notified when I upload content just like this for you So next to the drums we have this right here And then after that, we have this pad too. And then this that comes after it. So at this point, so at this point, the whole atmosphere of the beat was already on ground. If I'm to add the drums and the clock tick, you notice that we already have a kind of this can just be like verse one. All right, so at this point, what I wanted to do was just to um, build more melodies and more layers on top of it so that at least there can be variety in the beat. And I came up with this Bram sound and I actually love this sound so much. It has just two notes. So if I'm to play that with the rest of the beat, you hear how it sounds in the context of the whole beat. All right, then at this point, what I actually wanted to do was, um, I was listening to the beat and then definitely it sounds kind of like horror, um, kind of with all the minors and everything and the clock tick also so what i wanted to do was i just came up with this idea of like adding some kind of like whispers in the beats like wide whispers that us are just sitting down in the background of the beat and then this is what i actually came up with this just sounded too, so good in the background yeah in the whole beat you actually might not really hear it might not be that in your face but it just feels the atmosphere and it's just sitting right there and it just sounds so awesome Alright, 
then next to that we have this pluck sounds we have the pluck background and the pluck effect and then this are just like some cool vibes just to fill the top end of um, top end frequencies all right Then next to that, we have this piano sound, and this is just a simple, um, there's nothing so special about this. I don't drew this on the, on the piano roll, and as you can see, it's just a very simple something that's going on right here. This is how everything sounds together. Then at this point the whole beat was kind of done but i just wanted to add one more element to just kind of sum everything up and just well sell it up for good and then i came up with this all right i came up with this melody right here all right and as you can see there's an automation that's going on right here and i also have a video a detailed video on how to create automation clips in fl studio as you can see right here so if you don't know about if you don't know about automation clips or how to go about it there's a video on how to how to go about that in the description below so go ahead and check that out all right and so that is that and then together everything together sound up we got this Alright guys, so that'll be it for this video. Please, if you like the video, do hit the like button, subscribe to this channel and enable notifications so that you get notified when I upload new content and videos just like this for you. Till we meet again guys, stay safe and see you in the next one.